Well, again I am here. In the previous class, we have talked about the space division. I hope all of you, of, uh, all of you, those who have seen these particular videos have gone through it and I am sure that they have been benefited. Today's class is something a little bit, rather I will say interesting one. The whole thing is actually interesting, but today's class we will, in this class particularly, we will talk about texture. Texture of painting. Texture is something that actually can be felt as well as can be, uh, I mean, uh, it will go into your senses. You will have to feel it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can uh, observe it as well as it, it, can, it can create a reflective uh, um, effect on your mind because texture is a part of painting which actually makes a painting much more alive after space division and line drawings because on that particular part we are using colors. Let us go to a particular painting where we will define this particular form called texture. This particular space, on this particular space we are having a still life. This is called still life. Still life is as we call uh, some, uh, some um, objects which have been placed and has been drawn. It can be imaginary, it can be right from the live one. This is a flower pot with lots of flowers and uh, some flowers are uh, falling down, some flowers are in the particular pots, everything is there. And see the particular texture on these particular flowers. As I have said before, texture actually makes you to feel about the painting uh, on, on the particular canvas. Texture can be felt, texture, texture can be touched. Now to define texture, I will have to add another one, a particular very important point. Texture is not only to be done with colors. Texture can be done along with colors with different things. For example, with colors we can use leathers, we can use wood, we can use metals. All these things actually makes textures a bit different and much more interesting. But for the beginners, rather as we are going step by step, rather we will talk about with colors today. Textures can be used with a brush. First of all, let us start with the brush. When we will take some colors, for example, here as we see, yellow, orange, green, little bit of crimson leg. This particular uh, red is crimson leg. When it has been merged with other colors, it has become a little bit darker, but it is crimson leg. So these colors are being placed one after another as it is overlapping one after another and creating our texture and it is it can be zoomed it can be seen as it can be seen that it is haphazardly done this is very very important word texture always been done haphazardly if we make it as a as we say when we are doing a mathematical calculation 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 it will automatically come 6 but if we do texture in that way you will never get a good texture uh, for a good painting for example this particular flower pots this particular flowers and this particular leaves have got different textures but as a whole it has got it has become a one see the co uh, colors put on the particular paintings with brush with a thick layer layers are different there are different parts of layers see yellow see yellow see orange and again a dark tone this particular three layers it has made made a complete te texture over this particular painting 
and whenever you are doing textures, as I would rather suggest, it might be a little bit different, but more or less the same. Textures, while doing it, be very careful that the colors must overlap each other. Otherwise, texture will not be a proper one. So, texture actually, as a whole, we can say stimulates sight and touch of the viewers. What is the difference between sight and touch as far as texture is concerned? Sight means I am looking at this particular painting. Now this is sight. I am touching the painting. Here I can feel the different, I mean, uh, textural, uh, I mean, uh, effects on this particular canvas. Sometimes it has been mm, a little bit uh, rough, sometimes it has become a little bit smooth, sometimes it, it has been merged. So, these particular three things, merging, roughness and smoothness, all these things can be felt by touching the painting. At the same time, when we will look at the painting, we will of course see uh, these particular things, but we can also feel these particular things same together so whenever we will do texture texture has to be placed in such a way so that it can create that particular effects of feelings and sightness as a whole for the viewers the viewer can feel the texture as well as whenever it is not been permitted rather to touch the painting but as if he is touching or she is touching the painting and can feel the particular uh, in the overlapping colors or the undulating colors or the roughness or the smoothness. So these things are very much important as far as textures are concerned. And to conclude with that particular point of textures, I will say whenever we will put uh, something else with along with colors, for example as I have said before, wood or leather or uh, whatever it may be, in fact it can, it can be a ribbon too, it can be a thread too that can be properly placed on that particular canvas with the colors so that it can create a different uh, a different mood in the particular painting or or a particular canvas on which the painter is depicting his own ideas that's all for the day as far as textures is concerned well in this class once again as i have said before in the last class when we talked about the space division Again, more or, less, more or less the same words might have come, but it is very important, my dear friends. You will have to see different paintings. For example, the paintings in, in my back is a copy of, as I have said in the last class, of Van Gogh. It could have been the copy of Montaigne, it could have been the copy of Cezanne, it could have been the copy of Rembrandt, it could have been the copy of Picasso. So rather, I would ask you to go through the paintings of different master painters, especially the painters of the Renaissance period of, uh, of, of uh, history uh, of art in Europe. Uh, for example, um, as I have said Rembrandt, as I have said Vermeer, rather, as I have said Picasso, as I have said Cezanne, go through the paintings of these painters and after uh, having a look having a look of this particular class for a number of times see those paintings and try to uh, rather join up these lectures with those paintings and you will automatically find what i have said has been already there in the master works of those painters thank you very much